Good evening. Hello, Pauline. Uh, welcome to another vlog. The plan was to go down to Corrin Lighthouse, but then I saw this, a cloud over the sun. You might be thinking, what, really? Is that what you saw? But that cloud is producing awesome god rays. So I'm hoping when I get over to this little bit of foreground interest, I'm going to be able to compose something with the mountains, with that cloud, and with them god rays. Now, if I'd managed to get this with a high tide, whew, that would be special. But still, it's a nice shot. It's a nice shot. Interest in the sky, interest in the foreground, everything you really need. But if there was a high tide as well. So I'm actually going to do something slightly unusual for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go further back and then use my telephoto. So I'm going to zoom in to try and make that scene a little bit more claustrophobic. But not the aim to make it more claustrophobic, but to increase what I'm actually capturing in that scene. I'm doing a nice, simple shot, four or five crop. I'm gonna expose for the sky, capturing that detail, and then I'm gonna expose for the foreground. Simple. Okay, let's go check out a lighthouse. So in front of me here, this is Corran Lighthouse. And it is a location that I've been meaning to photograph for quite a some time and bring you along. I've personally photographed it before, um, but yeah, I don't know why I've never brought you along, but welcome to Corran Lighthouse. It is a beautiful lighthouse. I've never seen it properly light up though, which is a massive shame. It's funny, I feel nervous that the light, the, the, the ferry is going to come back across and it's going to ruin my shot and I'm going to end up with a wave coming up and I'm going to end up getting wet, which I don't want to happen. But anyway, right, so, waffle over. This is what I'm looking at. Okay. So, just in front of me, I've got this lovely band of shadow and highlight coming across and that leads your eye through into the lighthouse on the other side. The mountains behind, they've got different layers and levels depending on how much light is hitting them. And then in the sky, this lovely sunset orange. It's just beautiful. I've centralized the lighthouse because it is my main focal point and you know, just having a nice time. It's a beautiful day. Can't complain, life is good. I'm going to capture this shot in a, probably a three part exposure. One for the green moss, just as it is right now. In fact, I'm going to focus stack two. I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to have it all. Check out that green. Isn't that beautiful? Then I'm going to focus on the lighthouse on the other side of the water. And then I'm going to lower that exposure for the mountains in the background and the sky. Right, let's see what else we can find. But the rocks are slippery, so I'm gonna put this away. Worried about the fact that it's private. 
at the moment, I am a sucker for wild flowers. They are absolutely beautiful. And with them grasses as well, oh, they're nice, aren't they? Like, I keep capturing them though. I think you guys are gonna be getting sick of my wildflowers. If you are, you can leave a comment. I don't think it'll change anything. But feel free to leave a comment. I'm gonna try and do a focus stack between these flowers in the immediate foreground and the hills in the background. I'm trying to get low enough that you can't see the rocks or the terminal or where the ferry picks up the cars or anything like that. I, I, I don't know if I can get my tripod any lower, really. I think that is 100% as low as I can get. I know, I definitely just jinxed this. I just said to Pauline, I just said to you Pauline, there's this. no Pauline. midges around. Don't worry, I don't know why you've got your hood up. There's no midge around. And then the wind dropped. Okay, so the rocks are, are not gonna be taken out of the scene, which is a massive shame. Okay, the game pretty bad. Oh my God. It doesn't help that we're, uh, we're next to lots of little puddles in sort of a little bit of a wind eddy. I'm also inviting them in by only wearing a, uh, a t-shirt. But they really don't like DEET, which is great because at the moment I am covered in DEET. Okay, so I am going to risk losing all blood the midges have all left have all followed her ideal uh, so in front of me i've got some wildflowers and then i've got the corin lighthouse off to one side and some beautiful shapes in the mountains so i'm using the rule of thirds for this shot okay so i'm going to take one exposure again focused on the lighthouse i think it already is yep so I'm just going to capture that shot now and I'm going to underexpose it slightly. But again, I'm going to push it so nothing's blown out and the amount of midges that are in front of me, but none of them are getting me because I am covered in deep. And then I'm going to raise the exposure and focus on that immediate foreground. Right, I need to move. <laughs> so I'm going to take that shot of the plant. Shot captured midges everywhere like they have eaten me alive they're probably all over my face as we speak that was a tough shot to capture here there's a breeze so they can't fly and they can't get me but oh <sighs> But if you are looking for lighthouses and locations to come to that are close to Fort William, this is a location I definitely suggest. It's a shame that you don't get the full on light coming out the lighthouse, but it is a big lighthouse. It's not like the little one on Loch Lochy. So it's worth a visit. And if you do come along, make sure you send me your pictures and just, you know, tag me them. Tag me in them on YouTube and I'll, uh, I mean, uh, on Instagram or Facebook and uh, I'll check them out. But that is gonna be all from me this week. Pauline's running away from midges over there, so I think that's all from her. And have a lovely week, people. Peace out.